Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of Banter Blitz. The show, the great show, where we play Blitz games against Chess24 premium users and drop knowledge. It's about educating, but as we all know, in order to educate, you have to entertain first. And that's where I see myself, an enter-educator, I know. Many people prefer the term edutainer, not me. I would like to be referred as Grandmaster Your Highness Jan Gustafsson, the entertainer. If that's not asking for too much, if you are a Chess24 Premium member, by all means, challenge me to a lovely game of chess. My username is Jan. If you are not one yet, you can become one. Do it right now. Go to chess24.com slash premium. Use the code study chess at checkout. Save 40%. Challenge me. Get yourself crushed. If you were expecting Alexander Grishuk instead of me, I understand and I agree with you. Alexander Grishuk had an important obligation and his banter blitz will be moved to another day. There will be Grish that much. I am sure of. But so that there was any show, and this is literally any show, with an emphasis on the word any, not the word show. They said, Jan, do you have a tie lying around in your basement? Can you get ready within eight minutes? I said, sure, I have my best Matt Damon school tie right on the ground. I'll put it on, play some chess. And speaking of playing some chess, this is it, as good as it's gonna get, therefore, let us jump right into the games, right after welcoming everybody in the chat. I shall read the Chess24 chat and the Twitch chat because I'm young and hip. I know what a Twitch is. I'm no stranger to raiding, to Kekwer. Okay, I'm a bit of a stranger to that, but I shall be just as obnoxious to you Twitch boys than I am, as I am, to the Chess24 community. So good to see all of you losers and Mr. Dodgy, the great Mr. Dodgy, the biggest celebrity, a small village next to Skelleftea, that's exactly how it's pronounced in Sweden, has ever produced in the last couple of months within the sphere of online chess tournaments. All right, do we have any, what's what's the term? Um, challengers. Mm. Victims. Mm. Young adults. Minds that can be, still be melted, formed. hopefully destroyed because as we all know in order to build somebody up you have to crush them mercilessly first is that is that common advice i'm not 100 percent sure but i will try to apply it to julie tross 87 julie tross are you there mm, he's a spanish user therefore I should apologize. I know you do not speak the common tongue. En España. But this is Banter Blitz. And we want everybody to enjoy and to be able to benefit from my great wisdom that is already shown in moves like Knight to C3, exploiting this pin, therefore winning a tempo while developing. Julitros is exchanging the queens, but will he be happy? There is a knight fork looming on the, what's the square called? C7 square. And I shall not rest until he gives me one of his pawns at least. He refuses to, which upsets me. Hmm, good move, sir. Maybe bishop e3 was not as wise 
as I considered it to be when I played it. Therefore, I shall change my plans and now try to occupy the center. Did I switch the sound on? I've had a rough day sound-wise, so if you can't hear me, now would be a good time to tell me. Mm. Nine Deuce is saying, I think Jan should be called the Ein Eintainer. I don't get it. How is that not much worse than Enter Ducator? Eintainer? Doesn't even make sense. Zara Bagger is asking, why Jan stop commentating? I'm right here, right now. Let's all live in the moment, not dwell in the past or the future. Let's just enjoy this time that we can all have together. Learning from the night on the rim being dim because tomorrow it might no longer be on that rim. In case you're wondering, no, I didn't drink. I don't take drugs, but I'm a little sleep deprived. I got, what do you call this in the business? A backup kit? No, that's, that sounds wrong. I got a new kit, kit two. Still contemplating the name. Um, and I blame kit two for whenever I shall appear. Tired, weird, absent, um, elitist, any of these things. My new kid is to blame. So I want to make that clear. Then there's a question. Why I left you? I would never leave you. I have temporarily withdrawn to the German show. You know, it's, it's a quieter place. So I can catch my breath and then come back stronger, meaner, more uncut. Does that make sense? But I miss you guys probably more than you miss me. I am sure you are in great hands. But who's watching the watchman? Sorry, this is getting a little weird. I'll, I'll try to get it together. I also, I also should win this game. I was so busy talking complete nonsense that not only did I allow this knight to get off the rim, I also let my pieces get a little, you know, distracted. But now, I'm back. Mm. All my pawn grabbery instincts shall be reactivated. Give me that. Mm. Bishop c6. Mm. Just teasing. I don't want to draw. You don't want to draw. We can all agree not to draw. <clears throat> May bring the knight back. Bishop g1. Very deep. Did not see that coming. This guy is strong. I was not prepared for such levels of resistance. I do still have my shameless flagging instincts. Not the speed necessarily, but the instincts I have. <clears throat> As we know, flagging is 94% lack of sportsmanship 4% speed is that is that the current thinking on the issue could have taken the bishop but who needs to can always take there we go good game by Julitros but he ran out of speed just a little bit near the end Clay T. Dog 2004 is saying you would be a good storyteller to little kids. It's an interesting thought because I've been thinking about what career options I have at this point. And storyteller to little kids, although it sounds a little creepy, I think is a field I could excel in. 
Could I like do podcasts for kids? Do kids have podcasts or audiobooks? Hello, boys and girls. Sit around the fireplace and listen to Uncle Yum and his magic dragon. A little too creepy. I think I think there's potential there. All right. In the meantime, let's play some more chess. Or, as we say in the business, un autre jeu d'échecs avec JZVM. JSVM. Iron Man is saying story time with Uncle Jan. It works. Once upon a time, there was a place called Earth. The people, they had buildings and cars and planes, and trains and automobiles. Which is a little redundant because I already said cars. But you do not need to concern yourself with that kid. Point of the story is, was an ancient civilization that was prospering. Everyone had enough to eat. There was no more hunger. There was no real need to work. People just worked to pursue creative freedom and fulfillment. The problem was the human nature. The greed got in the way. The rich were never satisfied with the billions they had. They wanted more billions and more billions. So the gap between the rich and the poor became bigger and bigger and inevitably it led to the great war of Yanistan which destroyed everything in its path. I know you kids have probably seen Mad Men, Mad Max 2 and Mad Max Fury Road because every self-respecting kid should watch these movies but the reality turned out to be much worse. We were left with machines, but not the good machines, like Skyman, but the bad machines, like outdated German cars. <clears throat> Gasoline was a scarce resource, as was water. Love, poetry, birds, everything that was beautiful in this world, no longer existed. But then, a hero came along with a chance to carry on. He planted the iron forest of Manchester. Why Manchester, you ask? I don't know. City names got tied up during the Great War of Yanistan. It took years and years for the wood to grow. It was growing in the morning, it was growing in the evening, but mainly in the morning. That's where you kids probably heard the term morning wood. But the green lung of the planet was slowly but surely rebuilt, leading to this tropical paradise. Why tropical from wood? I don't know. I'm not a scientist. That you live in today. I hope that story will be a lesson for you kids. It's not all about material gains. We only have one planet. We almost lost it once in the Great Wars of Yanistan. And hopefully you, Generation XYZ, will be smarter than your predecessors and not let this happen again. That's it for today, kids. Tomorrow we shall all learn about the Great Palace Revolution where your wise and fair and unbiased and timely leader had to deal with a most ugly uprising. Now sleep well, you princes of Maine. Could work, no? I think I, I'm, I think I'm talented. As for the game, I don't think I'm that talented. I'm a pawn down for not very much, but I'll eventually win on time. There's still enough stuff going on. Apologies for the grammatical mistakes and so on. It's a second language. I think, I think, something there. King's Yanding. That's not a it's not a bad name for a city. Mm -hmm. King's Yanding. I like it.
My meeting has ended? What meeting am I in? I haven't met anybody in years. I got the pawn back. It's gonna be somewhat difficult to win this position. But not impossible. The rook is a little silly now. Hmm. My bishop might still have a role. I guess he will go rook somewhere, but the rook doesn't have a great square. Now the bishop can ask some questions. Hmm. Unpleasant questions, no? Don't you think I am asking rather unpleasant questions, sir? Do you dislike my accent? Ich verstehe nicht. Warum können Sie mir nicht helfen? Alright, I should be winning. Hmm. The Einsteller saying you are better playing chess than telling ancient stories. Honestly, that's very hurtful. Because let's face it, I've hit my not very high ceiling as a chess player. But as an ancient storyteller, I feel I have so much potential. Alpha Zero is wondering when will I come back to commentate? I don't know. That might be. There might be a chance for a return one day, but for now, it's time to sit back and leave the field to younger, sharper, wittier, fresher minds. Because, let's face it, I'm a bit of a one-trick pony, and sometimes you need a two-trick pony. All right, let me win this game, sir. Mm. Mm. How do I do this wisely? Who cares about wisely? Mm. It's a race. I think I might have a bit of a head start. So close, yet so far. Art Cardinal is saying, you could note that anyone who understands German can just tune into the German broadcast. Yeah, but let's not encourage people to learn German. It's a, a difficult language and, frankly, a hard language. It's not easy on the ears. So I would stay away from it if I was you. Earthworm94 is saying, Jan has given up his position to the fresh faces of Yasser Sairovan, Pierce Fiddler. There you go. Sometimes you just gotta, gotta let the kids get some reps, you know? <laughs> Johnny Quid is saying, OMG, Jan, you're missed on the English coverage. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. I've been doing the German show, so I haven't seen much of the English coverage. But I am sure it is great. Isn't my, my, my boy Petya? Isn't he there? And Trivia G is saying, Jan, you speak English with less of an accent than Sam Shankland. I strongly doubt that. He's, he's just American. Um... Sleepy Mario is pointing out that German equalized high school trauma to generations of people. Equalizes. Okay. Who knew? Young Shaman is saying, just came here to tell you I've missed you on the English show. Thank you so much, guys. I had no idea that you missed me. I missed you too. 
Because let's face it, I'm stuck with all these Germans in the German show. First of all, it's not that many. Secondly, and if you're a viewer of the German show, I don't mean you, I mean all the other guys. They don't get me on the German show. My, my witty, witty sense of humor, they don't understand. They say, what is this idiot talking about? Show us the lines. We want to know the evaluation of the position. Stop annoying us with your stupid wordplay and culture references that we do not understand, nor do we care to hear about them. That's the situation I'm in. This situation. It's the worst situation since Mike Sorrentino. So, I've missed you guys too. And now, let's play a lovely chess game. Against Tarek. Is that Tarek from KIZ? Hmm. Earthworm94 is saying, maybe your witty sense of humor doesn't translate well into German. I've tried. It's, it's not welcome there. They want to know the facts. And I do not blame them. Therefore, I have toned it down. And I have to come on this, the banter blitz. To finally let my freak flag flow again. Now, if only I was better in the common tongue and the two knights defense. I know this would happen. We have three, isn't this my, my pet line? Chessable.com slash young. Let's face it, this is still this is still a business. And you can learn amazing tricks such as H6 from my, my chessable course. Horse here, I take. I do not remember further, but I recall it was very dangerous. You know, it's a little bit dangerous. The queen is trapped in the corner. And if it leaves the corner, I shall push it around by attacking it. Then moving the rook here. Now, after the queen takes the pawn, I will bring the bishop out. And it will not be easy for white to finish his development. The problem is he has a check here. But they never do that. They always think they can win the game. But he is in for a harsh Harsh, harsh, harsh awakening. There shall be no glory in this game. <clears throat> F3. What kind of move is this? Okay, I'll stop. I'm annoying myself. And I would like to apologize to all the German viewers. I can do this because I'm German. It's still annoying. I hear you. Anyway, F3, Jan out of book. I guess I should take. Knight C6 or Knight C4. You could certainly have made a case for two. But if in doubt, take the pawn. All right, time to bring the horsey. Full disclosure, I don't see a win after queen takes b5. I have a feeling there should be one. I just have not spotted it yet. Queen e3. Is that the place to be? Hmm. Time to move some pieces forward. <clears throat> Isn't chess always interesting and fun? As my friend Nils Cornelius like to say, chess is always interesting and fun. Check. 
Pin. Check pin. It's like in Thailand, when you order, you also say check pin. It's a joke. Many of you Thailand expats watching will understand. Speaking of Thailand, I hear Thailand is reopening. I can't wait to go back to Thailand. Like uh, Traveling will still be tough, and of course, Corona and all that. But I hear the country is back up, dealt well with COVID-19. Shout out to Thailand. Um, can I win somehow? It looks winning, no? Rook g1 or just knight f3. No need to hurry. Hmm. Child of Light is saying probably it's something in his coffee. It's coffee. And there's the usual debate. Did Jan drink something beforehand? Anticipated this debate when I told you early on in the show that I didn't drink, but that I am a little sleep deprived. And as I'm sure most of you know, sleep deprivation in the right dose can have the same effects as alcohol. Therefore, I understand you might have that impression, but as I thought we had already established, it is all my new kid's fault, and we shall not blame it on alcohol. Thank you. Paradise Pete is saying, Thailand is reopening slowly, some local bars, still no tourists yet. I heard July 1st, which is probably like in roughly two days. <clears throat> there shall be more reopenings. Thanks for the game, Tarek. This is a fun little line. For more such fun little lines, chessable.com slash young. A complete repertoire for black against one e4. I hear it's amazing. It might be or might not be on sale on July 3rd. That I do not know. Sleepy Mario says it's already July 1st there. Wow. Time flies. Trivia G is saying, Jan, with your love of American culture, you, t you should watch Kentucky Fried Movie. I did watch Kentucky Fried Movie. And Kentucky Fried Movie is not included or a reason for my love of American culture. That is a horrible, horrible, I would not even call it a movie. It is a horrible, horrible <coughs> insult to all the senses. And I do not recommend it. Mr. Dodger Chess is saying, wait, aren't you always on tight time? Usually. Are you coming to the Thailand Open this year, Mr. Dodger? Now that we're best friends, I feel it's time that we go on a holiday together. I don't want to share a room, if that's okay with you. So you have to get your own room. But other than that, we could, you know, have online conversations. You're in your hotel room. I'm in mine. And we chat. It could be fun. Jawin is saying, I did not think this man was entertaining. Then I realized it was me who was wrong. At least you saw it now. Might be too late, because I'm sure you're aware of Jawin's law. It's survival of the wittiest. But I still appreciate it. Mr. Dodger says, if you pay, I'll go to any tropical paradise. Mr. Dodger, you're the, you're the landlord with the horses here. I'm not yet in a position to pay for an entourage. You can't be, you can't be turtle to my Vince. It's not, not how it's going to work. You have to be E. You have to do stuff. You have to manage. You have to negotiate the conditions and then negotiate conditions for yourself as well as the manager used to manage an Italian restaurant. If you're not familiar with the plot of the TV show Entourage, then please stop watching this. Go live vicariously through Vinny and E and drama and turtle for a little bit and then come back and we can discuss. 
<clears throat> all right, let's play some more chess, because that's what we all came here for, to play some lovely chess games. And speaking of Thailand, is this guy from Thailand? Piece of pill prey? Where you from? We want to know everything, piece of, piece of bill prey. Hmm. Thayol Hub is saying, hey Jan, why aren't you commentating on the current event? People thought that maybe, just maybe, I might not be focused enough on the ball. Sometimes, I'm not sure if you've noticed during today's show, sometimes my mind wanders. And that could not be the image that Magnus Corp. I think that's the official name. No, it's not. Chess will chess 24 and play Magnus and all these other prospering companies want, you know, to, to be associated with. They think, think I'm a loose cannon. Often people think I'm drunk at the beginning of the show already. Therefore, they say, Jan, you talk to the Germans, you try to humor the Germans, they will not like it. So you will learn to focus on the chess. And the question is, has Jan learned? Or has he tried to humor the Germans? Or has he struggled with keeping the sound on? Um, Michael Shakar is saying, hi Jan. No, he didn't say hi. He said, have any new shows caught your interest? Um, let me think. I've tried getting into Space Force because it looks like it's smart and has Steve Carell and uh, all the other people. And it's probably witty. And I was expecting a biting satire. Wasn't that biting or biting? I'm not sure how that word is pronounced. So I'm not quite sure what to make of it. It's probably good, but I didn't really get into it. Other than that, I've been in movie mode. I've watched a lot of movies. I have watched Mad Max 1, Mad Max 2, not Mad Max 3, but Mad Max Fury Road. All of those are excellent. Mad Max 1 is very surprisingly not a dystopian future. It just looks like a random year in Australia. To me, I've never been to Australia, but that's how I picture it. Um, what other movies have I watched? Hang on, I keep a list of the movies I watch in my phone. I've watched the creature feature Crawl, where a man and his daughter, mainly his daughter, the man doesn't do much, are fighting not one, but two giant alligators. That's right, two. I'm not gonna spoil it for you, tell you who wins in the end, the giant alligators or the man portrayed by Barry Pepper and his daughter. But it's a good movie. Mm. Here's my list. Movies I watched. The Five Bloods. I don't know, Spike Lee. It's too much for me. Too much information. Too many topics. Like, it was great to learn. And I don't know much about the Vietnam War. And that apparently was like 30% <clears throat> blacks, which is way more than the average population, of course, and that also a lot of them were sent as sort of the first wave. I, I did not know, and it was very interesting to learn all that stuff because I'm trying to educate myself a bit on all those things. But it was just too much in one movie. I couldn't focus on the adventure part, and then there's Delroy Lindo with his madness, and there's that, and there's that, and then there's another political message, and then there's more plot, then there's a weird action scene, and then there's this Chadwick Boseman Jesus figure. I didn't, I didn't really get it. I get so ambitious, and it's great and important, but it was just too much stuff for me. Speaking of Chadwick Boseman, I greatly enjoyed the movie Twenty One Bridges, which I also saw the other night. It's, it's another slightly confusing one when it comes to the message. I'm not sure what the message was, but as just a thriller. Great stuff. F5 horrible move, by the way. Queen G3, King H8, Queen E5 check. I have to either repeat moves or accept my position to be in shambles. But that did not happen. So 21 bridges. Recommended. Very 
yeah, just enjoyable, you know, to watch. Police thriller, fast action, some twists and turns. If you switch your brain off, very good stuff. Let's continue the list of movies Jan watched. Extraction. That's the movie where Chris Hemsworth, I think, shoots everyone. I fell asleep, but I'm assuming he finished shooting everyone else too. So it's a good action movie, but eh. Hmm. I watched some Tom Hardy movies. Lock. Excellent. Tom Hardy in a car. It's just Tom Hardy in that car. Bronson. Excellent. Tom Hardy in jail. Undressing. Fighting people. The Drop. Excellent. Tom Hardy is a Brooklyn barkeeper. Peanut Butter Falcon. Eh. I might be a bit of a sociopath. I'm not sure if watching this show gave you any clues about that already. I doubt it. But I felt nothing watching Peanut Butter Falcon. And I felt horrible for not feeling anything when watching it. I blame Shia LeBeouf. He's a good actor, but his pure presence and all the stuff we know about you, Shia or Shia, it's very distracting. Couldn't do it, but I apologize. I've seen the movie Motherless Brooklyn, some Ed Norton thing, um, New York in the 50s, see some noir detective story. It's very long and one has to pay attention, so it's hard to be on your phone while watching it. But I enjoyed it, it's smart and everything, it has a good, good Alec Baldwin role, mm, and in general, good performances, liked it. Are you guys bored of the list movies you unwatched? We can, we can play one more game and then we'll, I'll give you like 10 more movies because I've watched a lot of the movies. Mm, let's play against Eat Queens. Mm. Thanks for the game, Pitzel. Now some questions, why? Sasha Grishuk, the great Sasha Grishuk. Did not play Bantablitz today. He was busy, I'm sure his Bantablitz will be played at a different time. And I'm not trying to fill these shoes, but I thought, is it better than nothing? Or is it pretty much nothing if I do a bliss and talk utter nonsense throughout? Then I thought, you know what? It can't be much worse than nothing because the good news is the people have the right to switch it off. Therefore, just me today. This is, what is this called? The Fajarovic Gambit? It doesn't make much sense, but I'm also trying to make it as boring as possible for Eat Queens by returning the pawn without even putting up a fight. Pizzu Bill Prey is asking, when will you visit the club in Thailand again? I'm counting the days until I can come back. I do not know yet. I guess a lot depends on the travel situation, the COVID, the Thailand Open. I very much hope that I can come in November because I'm not sure if you're familiar with Germany or the band Guns N' Roses. One thing they have in common is November rain. I don't like it weather or the song. Therefore, I would love to go to Thailand in November. But of course, first, you know, we got to get this world back on track. So obviously hard to plan with anything, but I would love to go. Oh, this, uh, oh yeah. Uh, why did I take the, with the pawn F3? Because it's good. You know, you open the E file to annoy the queen with your rook. Then you open the bishop's diagonal with f4, I think it's a much better move than bishop takes f3. And don't be fooled by all the utter, utter nonsense I'm talking. I am a reasonably highly qualified chess grandmaster. So sometimes I know stuff. All right, back to movies I watched. Hmm. Bad Boys for Life. Surprisingly good. Really is. I did not expect very much going in. I was entertained. 
you know, it's stupid, of course, but it's getting by on style, movie star charisma. I had a good time. Thank you, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. Hmm, the wrong Missy with my dear friend, Lauren Lapkus. That, Lauren, if you're watching, hmm, I'm not sure if you can speak on this topic, but do we think David Spade at age 55 should be a leading man? Do we think that? He doesn't really do a lot, does he, to win our hearts, to inspire, to entertain? Mm. All right, I should win this game against Eat Queens because I would not greatly enjoy it if he ate my queen. Hmm. Okay, time to hurry up just a little bit. Breathe in, breathe out. Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. Give me a bishop, sir. I'm threatening rook takes of eight, followed by queen d8. Checkmate. Hmm. And it Queens understands the problem and resigns. Thank you for the game. There was no way to parry this threat and this threat. Magnus is trash. Wow, that's a strongly worded username. Is saying the wrong Missy, that's what it's called, was pretty funny. On Netflix now. Regarding David Spade, super dumb, but not bad. I disagree. He doesn't bring anything to that movie. I like some of his old stuff, but... Ugh. I don't know, these Happy Madison productions. Adam Sandler is such a great actor, if he wants to be. And let him get his Skrilla. But does it always have to be a tropical location so you guys can all hang out there? A very thin plot with this. Um, mm, let's call it physical humor. Sorry, David Spade. I was not with you in that movie. Anyway, the wrong Missy. I watched The Art of Self-Defense, that's a fantastic movie, with Jesse Eisenberg. If you're a giant weirdo and wondering if there's something slightly wrong with you, then, first of all, welcome to the club. Secondly, watch The Art of Self-Defense. It's very weird. I enjoyed it greatly. All right, let's play another game, then we'll talk about 10 more movies, Jansi. Hmm. Where are my putzes at? I'm tired of playing all you strong players. Here we are. AJC the chess kid. Mm. Dinox TM1 is saying, any advice can be given to a beginner in chess. Find a different hobby. Like golf, maybe you're outdoors, you get to meet rich people. You can, you know, network while you're playing golf. What networking can you do here? Nothing. So, what's the point? Entertained? Entertainment? I've just given you like 10 great movies to watch. The Art of Self-Defense. Start with that. Then, reconsider. If you still want to play chess. Maybe you want to get into karate after the art of self-defense. There you go. And what is this? In the Four Knights. AJC. The chess kit. Bishop c5. Do you take or do you go knight b3? Bishop e3 also looks possible. So many options. Mm. 
Ugh, F4 was bad. I shouldn't allow bishop g4 with the tempo. I should have developed a piece. But now it's too late. Hang on, can I take some of his stuff? Bishop h7, king h7, queen e4. Well, also queen d8 is there. Mm. Queen e4, what's better? f5, rook d8. <clears throat> Maybe pawn takes? AJC the chess kid is saying, wow. What's that about AJC? Are you impressed with my dazzling, calculating prowess? I understand. Mm, I am pretty amazing. Matthews Marzo is saying, you could be a world champs in 1920, Jan. But we would have to figure out time travel, no? Or as Christopher Nolan solved it. By inversion. We just go backwards in time without wanting to get into too much of a physics lesson. Christopher Nolan, if we could go back in time, we would emerge at a place that is earlier than now. Wow, what a visionary. Amazing, Christopher Nolan. That is too much genius in one man. Hmm. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know why I started hating on Christopher Nolan. He has done nothing to deserve all that hatred. All he's done is try to entertain us by making movies with men in suits in muted colors that are having meaningless conversations on their way to the next well-crafted set piece. Who am I to complain about such things? What have I done? Not very much. Mm -hmm. is, it his, is it my fault that Christopher Nolan is colorblind? No. Is it his fault? Also no. I think we can all agree. It's no one's fault. And if he wasn't, maybe not all his characters would be wearing plain suits. We don't know. Maybe he'd add a little red or green. We will never know. Hmm. Mighty LM is saying, bro, you didn't direct Batman. Neither did Christopher Nolan. Did direct Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and The Dark Knight Rises. But I don't think any Batman. That's admittedly a technicality. <clears throat> but I will still die on that hill. Yashak is asking, Jan, have you seen the Netflix series Dark? If so, can you recommend it? Yeah, I'm not a big fan. I've talked about this quite a bit it's you know a series populated by seemingly solid but not fully trustworthy characters in a place where it's always raining it's dark there is no humor but there is some conspiracies there's evil there and there is a very well crafted time travel logic just you know hit a little too close to home I wish the first German Netflix show was Jerks, something to give us a chance to show the world that the Germans are very funny, dark, you know, it's just pronouncing all these German stereotypes so strongly, even though it's, of course, a fantastically well thought out, witty, well crafted show that ugh, I couldn't do it. It was very cringe to me. Well, show like jerks that is built on being cringe i think would be a great ambassador for the country of the germany franciscan how do you feel slice server saying jan the chit chat master i think there's a type in there 
you meant Jan the shit chess master. No, probably you didn't. See, I can't take a compliment. Thank you, sir. That's the correct reply. AJC, the chess kid, is saying, Good game, GM Jan. That has been the first 3,000 rated player I've ever played. Appreciate it. Internet ratings, unreal kids. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got a strike from Mr. Dodgy. Apologies for my, my potty mouth. Ignore27 is saying, who won today, Carlson versus Liren? Double question mark. Like, if this is a double question mark question for you, which indicates great importance, then maybe it would be important enough to Google it or to look it up on the Chess 24s. But let me Google it for you mentally. Magnus Carlsen won in game number six. He pulled off a bit of a comeback from a shaky position. He went on to win and outplay Ding Liren in a knight versus bishop end game. Therefore, winning his first match, just like Anish Giri, who is showing us again and again that in rapid chess, he is now a force to be reckoned with and no longer a punching bag. Quince47 wants to know what separates an IM and a GM except rating. I can't speak for every IM and every GM, but in my case, it's looks. There are some handsome IMs, but let's face it, not as handsome. They always have some weaknesses, like they don't have the golden hair, they don't have the dead eyes, they don't have the pale complexion. They don't have the cheap suit. There's always something missing. Therefore, I think at least for me, that's the most obvious distinction that I can make. But of course, you know, every case is different. Sometimes it's lack of looks. Sometimes it's also lack of character that stops them from becoming a grandma. As for this position, I'll somehow win. Not sure how yet, but it will happen. Hmm. And here comes the knight again. I might get a check. Put the horsey here. Dominate. Hmm. Uh oh. Uh, uh, uh oh. If I have one weakness as a chess player, and I do not mean the lack of focus, work ethic, calculation ability, any of these things. It's my utter greed. Why go after all these pawns when I could have played for checkmate? We will never know. Take your time, sir. Think about it. Give a check. Go back. Give another check. Mm -hmm. I told you to give another check. Bill belly check. Are you trying to flag me? You come to my house and try to flag me?
At least you realized that your efforts were futile, not fertile, halfway through. Thank you for the game, my dear friend. That brings us to another fun episode of what I like to call Movies Jan Has Seen. You thought we were done after 30 movies? Nope. So here we are, Little Women. Honest question, will I get cancelled from the internet for not liking Little Women? I'm a little worried, I'll get cancelled. I didn't like it much. It's fine, I understand, it's a story that deserves to be told again and again and again and again. What was that, movie number eight about Little Women? But why does everybody adore this weird Timothy Chalamet character? I just didn't see it. Where's the plot? I, I mean, I didn't pay any attention. I was on my phone the whole movie. But is that my fault or the movie's fault? Okay, probably mine. Still, I was not a fan. I was such a big fan of Lady Bird. And then... Little Women did not have the same effect on me. Even though it was more women than in Lady Bird. Vinegar Bob is saying, I hate Chalamet. Sly Service is saying, OMG, I love Chalamet. They're both misspelling his name. And I'm telling you that because I googled it the other day. It's Chalamet. It's like Charlemagne, just different. So, <clears throat> back to the list of movies I have seen. Hmm. I've watched the movie Breakfast Club. An 80s John Hughes classic. It's very good. Probably not too surprising to most of you. Because it's a classic. But I had never seen it. And I greatly enjoyed it. Hmm. Emilio Estevez was in there. And Molly Ringwald. Who I was not aware of. Because I'm a child of the 90s. She was more the queen of 80s teenage movies. Very enjoyable movie about stuff people used to do before they had cell phones to stare at. Because there's five kids that are grounded. They have to sit around in a school all day and they don't have phones to look at. That must be the definition of hell. So, very enjoyable, highly recommended Breakfast Club. That's the whole list. That's all the movies I've seen. Oh no, I've watched Eurovision Song Contest the story of Fire Saga, featuring Rachel Mike Adams, big fan ever since The Notebook, and Will Ferrell, big fan ever since Anchorman, and Step Brothers, and the other guys. Not Elf. Elf is a weird, weird movie. I do not endorse it. So, um, Eurovision Song Contest, the story of Fire Saga. It's all right. It's not mean enough on the Eurovision Song Contest. There's plenty of stuff to be mean about. But I guess Will Ferrell likes that stuff for real, so he wasn't very mean. This guy, Dan Stevens, is fantastic in Eurovision Song Contest, the story of Fire Saga. He should be a much bigger star. He must be a horrible, horrible person because he's such a good actor. Should be a much bigger star. If you guys haven't seen The Guest, another fun Dan Stevens vehicle. It's also highly recommended. Beauty and the Beast, not so highly recommended. Anyway. Story of Fire Saga, eh, it's fun. I laughed a bit. I enjoyed some of the songs. Ya yeah, ya, yeah. ding dong, obviously, being my personal favorite. So it's watchable. It's not in my top eight of Will Ferrell movies. Stop attacking my pawns, sir. Hmm. Okay, time to focus on the chess. We are playing... Okay, who cares? I can't, I can't even finish the sentence. Um, I guess I'm okay or, mm, or something. Mm. Mm. What's happening, chat boys? 
Flexor920 wants to know, Jan, have you seen Avatar The Last Airbender? That's not the James Cameron Avatar, right? That's this thing called The Last Airbender. Where, isn't that one of the worst movies of all time? I haven't seen it, but I do know that it's considered one of the worst movies of all time, which is maybe why I haven't seen it. If you catch my drift. Okay, I should make some moves. Hmm. Hmm. Speed it up. Hmm. Hmm. Check. Now tough fight against uh, Lil Doms. Is that your rapping name, Lil Doms? Like Lil Lil Dicky? Well said, Sly Surf. I'm not going to read it out because I already got one strike. But I had the exact same thought. <clears throat> Farudin Halilovic is asking, Jan, what do you think? Why you are not in the top 10 chess players in the world? It's a question I've asked myself a lot. And the only logical explanation that I could come up with is that some people are too intelligent to be fully functioning in like a competitive field, like chess. Like you see too much, your brain is too fast. It doesn't allow you to rest and to get yourself into proper shape. You can see that it's the same problem in many a field that you can be world-class with an IQ like 130, 140, stuff like that. But once you hit the 180s, it's really, really tough to break through because your brain is just bothering you with too much output all the time. That at least is the only logical explanation that I have. Um, let's play more chess games. Because what could be more fun? Let's play CI7. Sounds like, like perfume. Is that like CR7? Who? Oh. Is that me on your profile picture? Mildly disturbing, but I understand. Still, if you're not around, we shall not play. Sorry, CI7. See I later. Let's play school. School, school. Hmm. Hmm. Dinox TM1 is saying, anyway, do you watch series? I just listed like 35 movies I've watched in the last eight days. Okay, that's a lie, but only a bit of a lie. How would I have time to watch series? Do the math. I work like three, four hours a day. I have a family. I have kids that I sometimes hold for five minutes and then I pass them back. I watch three, four, five movies. When would I watch all these series? When? Having said that, have I watched any series? 
I don't think so. I want to watch that to me. The Christina Applegate, Linda Cardellini vehicle. I like Linda Cardellini. I've been a bit of a Linda Cardellini fan ever since Freaks and Geeks. So I want to see that. Yeah, yeah. Ding dong. It's a good song. It's very catchy. Bishop B6. He's giving me the center voluntarily. Which I don't know. Strikes me as a risky decision. I shall try to keep it, raise it, foster it, make it mine. Expand, dominate, crush. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud. It's all good. <clears throat> this, of course, Banter Blitz, the show where you get to play fun chess games with grandmasters while learning from them along the way, because we all know the only way to enjoy chess is to learn and to improve. It's not okay to play for fun. Who wants to have any fun? You got to get from 1600 to 1800 because your self-respect as an 1800 player will be so much higher. It is an absolute life-changing experience. And also your peers will look at you differently. Once you have those 1800, women will want to be with you. Men will want to be you. So, let us focus on what we can learn from this game. I control the center. These two pawns, they control a lot of squares. Since these two pawns control a lot of squares, it is not in my interest to exchange any pieces. Since I have a space advantage, I should keep the pieces on the board. Use that space advantage to slowly but surely strangle. Scoo. And then like Ka in the Jungle Book. Before he realizes it, Scoo will have no air for his pieces. And he shall be in real, real trouble. In the grip of Kayan. That shall be my new name. Kayan Yanar. Slav Jansen. What do you want to do, school? Now, it's time to cross the demarcation line because his bishop has to return home. If the bishop does not go home, the pawn on d6 is mine. So the bishop does go home. And I shall continue gaining space, converting the advantage of my mobile center into more active pieces paired with a passed d pawn that will be very very hard to handle for school now my pieces will naturally flow into attacking positions the bishop can come to c4 queen can come to f4 the pawn can go to d6 the knight can go to d5 it will all come together like a beautiful 18 plan crafted by hannibal smith and that is where chess becomes art. <clears throat> Here comes the knight again. Look at the interplay between the pieces. The pawn paves the way. The knight follows suit. The rooks are ready. Ready for action, never relaxing. The queens are no longer needed. Or shall I keep them? No. Here comes the rook. I 
have sort of bungled this. Which makes it harder to keep up my ASMR voice. Because my moves do not do the talking. Mm. Go away. Scoo, how do you do? Okay, let's face it, boys and girls. I'm running out of steam. Hmm. Wow, the Fighter 360 is saying, I feel like Jan regrets his decision. Um, <laughs> no, no, I'm not gonna mock any spelling. That is the lowest form of wit. I feel like Jan regrets his decision on becoming a GM. Yeah, that decision I took when I was 12. I shall become a Grandmaster and wish he could go back in time to get another job. Maybe just me. You know me so well, the Fighter 360. You can read my mind. All these other jobs where I would make so much more money, while I would also have all this freedom to express myself. Where I wouldn't have to wear a suit and a tie to work because that is being forced upon me. I could have become a lawyer or a chemist or a chemist lawyer or a movie critic. I think those were the options. So you are right. And now that you've pointed this out to me again, I am aware I can try to bury it under all these layers of irony. But it shall not mask the truth that I will cry myself to sleep because you, the Fighter 360, just minutes after complaining that Jan, Jan, can you please play me, has not yet happened, have made it all clear to me and brought the pain back. Thank you, although that was a very hurtful thing you said. Thanks for the game, Scoo. Mm. Sergeant Stubby is saying, I agree, Jan. I had a friend become an IM. He could not make money. I went into computers, much more lucrative. Oh, computers. So, how do we do this, Sergeant Stubby? I think. You sent me a list of your assets and your accounts. Then I sent you a list of mine. Then we compare and then we decide who is the better person. Also based on looks and character. I agree it should mainly be the monies we made. But looks and character have to play a small part in it. Also, I feel bad for your friend who became an IM. Then he couldn't make any money. So, yeah. <clears throat> Having said all these things, go premium on chess24.com. Even if you made very little money because you didn't go into computers, you can use the code study chess to save 40%, making it affordable to everyone. And like that, you can improve your chess, then become an IM. Still not have any money, but you can still go into computers if you find your way early enough. Sergeant Stubby is saying, I am very good looking. Picks or it didn't happen, Sergeant Stubby. Hmm. Ugh. Sergeant Stubby is very rich and very good looking and has a computer. I will lose that fight as well. Anyway, let's play another game what about um, what about this guy colvin 16 mm. 
Osho Kran is saying, who is defined lederhosen? What, what language is that? Like lederhosen are these weird leather pants some people in the south of Germany are wearing. But what is the question? Wo ist defined lederhosen? Is that like German English? Fighter 360 is saying, oops, didn't mean to hurt you, Jan. It was just a feeling. The damage is done. The damage is done. Because you might not be aware of this, but I'm here at work. And it's very hard to do your job without getting your feelings hurt. If you're at work, and you're getting constant feedback all the time, even though a lot of it is positive regarding your current work performance. That does not stick. The things that stick are always the negative ones. And that is what is so dangerous about our likes and follow and retweet cultures that none of this means anything to us as long as it's positive. But once there is one negative comment, the fight or flight instinct kings in and you can get your feelings hurt very, very, very easily. Therefore, the one thing many people do not to protect their feelings is to just stop interacting with anybody don't read the chat don't read your mentions don't deal with people but then you can just become a sad madman sitting in your basement talking at computer screens therefore i believe the jury on the mental health long-term effects of streaming and of social media is still very much out but currently, it does not look good. Mm. Anyway, fun show, isn't it? We're playing some chess games, we're hanging out, we're learning something like pawn to b4, now I'll go bishop b2, knight d2, use the fact that the knight is slightly misplaced on c6. I'll try to be first to go knight b2, bishop d3, and knight to e4, because we all learned from the great Akiba Rubinstein that Usually, the side that goes knight to e4 first in such a structure has the advantage and has good chances to build an attack. Mm. Mm. The fighter 360 is saying, LOL, the mood swing. See, that's pretty much exactly what I was referring to two minutes ago. If you read the chat, if you interact with the community while you're at work, you have every little thing you do commented in often a negative way, like LOL, the mood swing. Oh, the monkey is no longer dancing by someone you don't know. I don't know if the Fighter 360 is a 13 year old kid. I don't know if he's a 40 year old manager. I don't know if he's a retired lady. I do not know anything. But still, you always take it as if someone you know would say such things to your face. And it's just a very, very dangerous state to be in. VVV victimized saying, I watched the stream and my mood is instantly ruined. Thanks, Jan. <laughs> You're welcome. You should, you should go into streaming. It's fun. Twitch. Chess is booming. Mr. Chow274654 is saying, Jan, are you okay? I'm never sure. It's very day to day. Um, oh, 19 seconds. I'm not okay here. Oof. But I dropped a lot of knowledge, didn't I? Hmm. <clears throat> This whole stream is obviously a thinly veiled, veiled. I never know if it's veiled or veiled, but we can all agree it's a cry for help. All right. 
right, not a lot of time left on the clock. <clears throat> Might lose this one. Oh, that was surprising and clever. Gotta give it to you. That was smart. <clears throat> Queen takes c8. I did not see coming. And you deserve the victory for that. That was smart. Cause <clears throat> Risky though, because I guess a good pre-mover would just pre-move b8. Just in case. But I didn't. Yeah, kudos to her. Colvin 16, I started a little late to focus up. Good game, Colvin 16. Ay, ay, ay. <clears throat> Pitiless Wave is saying, Jan, do you ever regret getting into steaming? Steaming, streaming. Have you listened to anything I said in the last 10 minutes? c4 e5 knight c3 horsey out horsey out pawn to g3 and here we go um let's play this one this is what this is what the cool kids do bishop c5 knight b6 is the old line which i think is still sort of viable as well nakamura keeps defending it but bishop c5 refusing to give any ground has stood the test of time as well d3 is the main move of course there are alternatives knight takes d5 queen c2 <coughs> a3 or knight takes e5 but usually they just go d3 <laughs> oh boy um, Jake Lones is saying Hi Jan, how are you doing? Um, yeah, it's a frequently discussed topic tonight I think I'm alright What is this line? One second, knight d1, knight d8 Knight f2 mm, Does that work? Is this all theory? I've seen something like this could also go knight e2. I can't be wrong. Not sure. Is this all theory, Mr. Ash? Mr. Ash? Oh my god, are you a Pokemon trainer? Mr. Ash? Is that you? Are you from the Kanto region? What's going on here? I could take. So I should take. B8, E3 is pointless, so I should go with B8. Um, now, what is going on? Could take the pawn on B2, but it's not the tastiest pawn in the whole wide world. I'm worse here? Looks like it. I don't really see what to do. Not the most inspired night maneuver, I have to admit. But I couldn't see anything else. Horsey, maybe? Yeah, let's 
Let's keep horsing around. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not very impressed with my position. But it is what it is. And rook c7. Yeah, somewhat unpleasant. Mm. Also, this guy's playing very well, very quickly. Mr. Ash! Hal Ashby. Hmm. Surprise. Sorry, Mr. Ash. Good game. All right. Um, let's play one last one and then call it a night. I'll watch another movie. What movie should I watch? Maybe ugh, I'm very sleepy. I think I'll just go to bed. I'm a little sleep deprived today. Um, <laughs> oh boy, New World Order. And let's just, just to show we're not discriminating against rating here. Let's play against Nur de SVV. What's that, Werder Bremen? You guys made it to relegation? Hmm. Pan Arch is saying, really can't tell you're sleep deprived, Jan. Well, that's why I'm telling you. Hmm. Good old King's Indian. Nord SVV. Learn a different opening. I understand. It has its appeal. Kasparov and Fischer played it, but for someone that is still a little new to chess, like yourself, it's better to first start fighting for the center a little bit. You don't want to get used to these cramped positions that should be tough to handle. Queen d7 is odd. Until here, I was with you. Queen d7 feels a little off topic, right? Knight c6 or knight f d7, maybe. Maybe I'll go b5, but I can take this still. The idea makes sense. You want to. Support your pawn push. The queen d7 sort of interferes with the rest of your pieces, so not a fan. Stelling Forever is saying, is this new? I feel like Jan looks 10 years younger. I have addressed a passing interest in time travel earlier on the show. It could be that this is me from 10 years ago. 
just arrived here. That's all I can say on the topic. Now, Nurda SVB is a pawn down with a bad position. And you can see these sins starting with queen to d8 that you're still paying for. Queen to d7, I mean. The pen urge is saying, like, you choose 2020 to travel to. I heard 2020 is when the new millennium really began. Because nothing changed in 2000. Even the computers didn't collapse. But 2020, because of this pandemic, the digital revolution really took speed. We really stopped all our social contacts. And the world would never be the same. We had iPhone 11s in 2020 became our best friends, our source of information, of wisdom, and of entertainment. What better time to travel to? 2030 maybe? Maybe 2030 is even better. 2030 I imagine a bit like Mad Max Fury Roadish. Mm hmm. Coyote's nemesis is saying, YouTube will take down your video now. Why? Inappropriate content or too handsome? Too handsome is something that I do struggle with once in a while. Because people are always confused with nudity. While I'm fully dressed, it's just that glow I have. And yeah, I don't know how to deal with it. Maybe fake agent effects. I could make myself more pale, maybe. Like this. Still very handsome. Hmm. No. No. Still handsome. Sorry, there is no way. Mm. Good thing. The show is almost over. I don't like it. I want to be dark. This fits the mood more. So what movie should I watch? We're almost at the end of today's fun little show. Um, and thanks to everybody recommending Dark Season 3. Let me rephrase. What movie should I watch that is not a German TV series called Dark? Mm, Pumping Iron, I think I've seen that. That's the Arnie sort of documentary. Princess Bride is a good movie. Gattaca? I'm not sure I've ever seen Gattaca. Jake Lone's asking, did you watch 12 Angry Men, Jan? Of course I did. I am I'm well educated on the classics. Not in chess, but in movies. 12 Angry Men, it's good. You know, <clears throat> it's back in the days when they had a functioning mm, jurisdiction over there. <clears throat> I don't think I've seen Gattaca. Gattaca is what Jason Manzuka's character yells during the leak quite often, no? What is Gattaca? It sounds like some Philip K. Dick story. Don't give me a strike, Mr. Dodgy. His name is Philip K. Dick. It's not my fault. J. 
Checkmate. Thanks for the game, nur der SVW. He has said, I'm not sure King's Indian is your opening. And then Queen D7 doesn't make sense here. It's tough to fight for the center here, which is why I thought maybe a different opening to get started with could be better. But once you're here, you want to play a move like Knight C6 or Knight D7. Or... I don't know. All right. That's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry for all the weirdness. Ah, oh, then again, I'm not that sorry. And um, thanks for all the love and support. I do appreciate it. I know I hide behind thick layers of whatever it is that I'm doing, but I do appreciate it. And yeah. See you guys on the German show, if you speak German. If not, I'll see you somewhere in the distant future. Maybe the year 2000, once I master tantra. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.